Good morning, dear friends. It is good to meet with you this morning through this video and a short message for our encouragement and for our growth in our relationship with the Lord. Jesus Christ told us that we as his followers are to be the salt and light of this earth. Salt and light has some wonderful qualities which are very, very important for our lives. And I would like to speak to you concerning 10 things that light does. And then I will conclude with one of the most important thing that the light does, which is for our instruction. These are the 10 things that light does with reference. And I would like you to note down and write down these references and go through them and learn more about what light does. Number one, light is clear and pure. The reference is Ephesians chapter 5 verses 8 and 9. Number two, light penetrates. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 5. And number three, light enlightens. The gospel according to St. John chapter 12, verse 35. And that means light enlarges a person's vision and know the proper understanding of the surroundings that we are in an environment we are in, and also the particular place and locality. And number four, light reveals. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 12, verse 36. And number five, light guides. Again, Gospel according to St. John, chapter 12, verse 46. Number six, light strips away the darkness. Again, the gospel according to St. John, chapter 3, verses 19 and 20. And number seven, light routes the chaos. The letter of Paul to Philippians chapter 2 verse 15. Number 8, light discriminates. Discriminates the right way and the wrong way. So that we may have a proper understanding of the way we need to take and walk. Again, John's gospel chapter 8 verse 12. Number nine, light warns us of the dangers that uh, are ahead of us. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 11 to 14. And number 10, light protects from dangers of darkness, stumbling blocks, and uh, enduring um, uh, object that we may face on the way. And if we walk in the light, we can avoid these hurting, injuring objects. These are the 10 things that light does. Now you can remember these and thank God that Jesus Christ is the light and he expects his followers to be the light of this world. That means not only we live a successful, victorious life, we help others also to walk in the light and be the light of this world. Now, there is one wonderful quality I want to point out to you about light. And that is the quality is it may fall on any 
dirty and filthy objects or area. For example, a pile of garbage where all kinds of filth and it starts stinging and nobody would like to stand anywhere near. Now light may fall on that and yet light itself will never be affected by the felt, filth or dirt. Light still remain pure and clear. What light does is light may expose the dirt, light may expose the filth around us, but light itself is unaffected by the filth. And when Jesus said, you are to be the light of this world, our life should be like the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came down from heaven and he was pure and he was holy and he was sinless. And so, but where did he come? From the most holy place in heaven, he came down to this earth, the most polluted and darkened by the sin of mankind. He lived among all kinds of filth, adultery and fornication and, and theft and murder and, and uh, cheating and lying and uh, a jealousy filled world. Everything that is uh, contaminates us and uh, everything that is dark and uh, polluted that can pollute the character of a human being. It is in that kind of surrounding and environment that Jesus came and he lived. And yet he was never affected by these filth of this world. What happened is he exposed. Now it is very clear that even the Pharisees who sits in judgment of common people of committing adultery or stealing or anything like that, but their own lives were full of darkness. And because their lives were full of darkness, they could not accept the light that has come because the light begins to expose their own filth, their own sinful life. You know, one day a, a woman was brought by the leaders of, of uh, the religious leaders, Pharisees, and uh, said, Master, this Jesus, what do you say? This woman is, is caught in the act of adultery. What do you say? Moses' law say that she should be stoned to death. Now, Jesus didn't speak very speedily. He sat down and looked down and he started writing something on the sand. Now, we don't know what he wrote, but there is speculation, there is imagination, and some of those imaginations can be right as well. And then he lifted his head and told them, he never denied the fact that Moses' law was wrong. And neither did he say to them, no, you should not stone them, save them, show some compassion. Neither did he say, okay, stone and kill her. But he told them, go ahead and stone her. But the one who should cast the first stone should be the one without any sin. Now hearing this, all of them, dozens and dozens of them standing there with, with the weak, big, big uh, stones and, uh, and they thought they are going to enjoy the pleasure of stoning a woman caught in adultery and killing. See. What happened, you know the story? One by one, drop their stone and left the sea. And soon after that, Jesus spoke to her, woman, has no one condemned you? And she said, no one, master. Neither do I condemn you. 
go and do not sin again. And after that, he was speaking to the disciples. And it was there he said, I am the light of the world. Now, what happened there? These Pharisees and these leaders who were accusing this woman, they never realized that their own hidden sins has darkened their own life. Standing in front of Jesus, their sins were exposed. He truly was the light of the world. And that's what he expects his disciples, his followers to be in this world. Be the light of the world. And he said, you are the light of the world. A light is never hidden. A light is to be on a higher place so that everyone can see as they walk in. And so, my dear friends, remember what you and I are to be in this world. We are to walk in the light of Jesus Christ and we have to reflect that light coming from Jesus and through us that light must be reflected for the world to see the true light. Be the light and please God. God bless you and the Holy Spirit is there to help you. Surrender yourselves to the Holy Spirit's conviction and the Holy Spirit's guidance. He will guide you. He will use you as the light and let others see the true light shining in you and through you. God be with you and bless you. Have a wonderful day today and shine as the light of this world for the name of Jesus Christ and for his glory. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone who will listen to this devotion. And hear the words of the Lord Jesus Christ to all of us. You are the light of the world. And those who walk in the light, they shall not stumble. They shall see the way. And they shall expose to the world what is ungodly, dark side of human life. And therefore, let each one of us be that true light that people may be attracted to this light and begin to walk in the light, coming out of the darkness of the sin that will darken our hearts. May Jesus Christ be lifted up and be glorified in us and through us. Thank you in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Be blessed today and have a wonderful day. Shine for Jesus. Amen.